Hi, it's Mrs. Val at the Hubbard Public Library. Welcome to week three of our Mindful Mondays. We will continue to share simple breathing techniques, calming stories, and relaxing art projects with you during our Mindful Monday videos. I also want to remind you that we do have take-home art supply kits that you can pick up. You can call to get them at our drive through window or stop in children's room during library hours. This week, we're going to talk about circles and spirals. Circles and spirals are shapes that help us to feel calm and centered. The closed shape gives us a sense of security and allows us to feel grounded. They can help us to practice our mindfulness. And you can find circles and spirals in nature. For example, I have a snail here with me today. And hopefully you can see that on my snail's shell, there's a spiral shape. We're going to hear a story about our snail in a few minutes. But first, I want to start out with our star wand breathing activity. We learned this activity in our first video, week one, and we do this at the beginning of each of our videos. So everybody get out your star wands. We're going to do this activity together. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that all of your beads are on one side of your wand. And then we take a deep breath in as we shoot one star to one side of the wand. And then we breathe out as we shoot the next star over to the other side of the wand. So let's do it together. And if you want to feel even more relaxed, you can breathe your stars back over to the other side of your wand. And remember, you can make a wish as you shoot your last star across. I hope you enjoy the other mindful activities that we have for you today. Slow Snail, adapted from the book by Mary Murphy. Snail slides slowly down her flower. Slowly over a stone. Slowly across a boot. Slowly over a stick. Slowly up a bottle. Slowly along a brick. Just in time for dinner. Hi, it's Mrs. Tarabassi. And today I'm going to share a fun and interesting mandala art activity for kids or any age. Mandalas means circles. A mandala is a circular structure with radial symmetry. That just means the design comes out equally from the center. Nature gives us some of the most wonderful mandalas. In nature, you can find mandalas in flowers, fruit, and even seashells. Drawing mandalas can be a form of art therapy and can reduce anxiety, tension, and stress. Mandalas can also be used as a way to help children increase their focus and creativity. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make two mandalas, one from items found in nature and the other from pasta. I just gathered some random items from outside to start my nature mandala. You can even use stones and place them in a circular fashion to make a mandala. The other one I used twigs and leaves and flower petals. If you have trouble getting started, I actually used a flower in the center 
which is already a mandala and built off of that. For your dried pasta mandala, you just need different shaped dried pastas. Starting from the center, you build out in that circular pattern with things coming from the center. Again, if you're having trouble getting started, I used a pasta in the center that is actually a mandala. With littler kids, you might find it easy for you to place the glue first in the pattern and then they can put the pasta where it belongs. The creative process is a pathway to centering yourself. I hope you find mandalas a source of relaxation in your life. And remember, art's not just about the final product, it's about the journey. This week's to-go art activity is a snail. When making your snail, take note of his shell. It's a spiral. Spirals and circles help us feel calm and centered. And I hope the snail helps remind you to slow down and enjoy the journey. Hi, it's Mrs. Russo here in the meeting space at the Hubbard Public Library. As you can see, we've made a large spiral design onto the floor. We just used some tape. You could do this at home with yarn or tape, or maybe you could go outside and draw a spiral on your driveway using chalk. We're going to use our spiral as a relaxation tool today. The spiral is a kind of a labyrinth. Labyrinths have been used for over 4,000 years as a relaxation and meditation tool. As I slowly and thoughtfully walk of following the pattern, I'll breathe in and out and I'll feel calm and I'll think relaxing thoughts and when I get to the center I'll share some special words that help me feel grounded. I'm going to take a deep breath in and out and I'm going to begin my journey. As I walk, I'll feel the ground secure under my feet. I feel safe, I feel sound, I feel my feet on the ground. I feel very calm and relaxed now that I've reached the center point. When I've had a moment to relax, I'll start my journey back and follow the winding path all the way around each turn until I'm back at my starting point where my journey will end. I hope you'll try this technique at home. See you soon. Hello, it's Mrs. Bala again, and we are at our final activity. 
we're going to use our mini sand garden to think about all of the activities that we did today. We're going to use our rake, or you can use a fork or your finger, to make patterns in the sand. Drawing patterns in the sand helps us to clear our mind. It gives us time to slow our breathing and it helps us to focus on the moment. We can think about all of the things we did today. And I know we talked about spirals and we saw some spirals. So we could try to draw spirals in our sand garden. And remember, you can always start over by smoothing out the sand or you can give your sand garden a little shake your mini sand gardens anytime that you need to calm down or clear your mind. Goodbye for now and I hope you have a very mindful week.